Hi everyone, Debbie here from Green Man Art. As promised, um, or threatened, depending on your point of view, um, I'm going to do a quick review of this new sketchbook by Pith Supply that I've just bought. Um, I've been seeing these sketchbooks all over Instagram used by other illustrators and artists and I was just a bit curious. Um, I don't really need a lot of encouragement to buy new supplies but I was in the market for a new sketchbook so I thought I would give these a go. Before I open it up and do an honest review um, I will show you the sketchbooks I currently use. So these are they. Uh, Mole Scheme. This has been my go-to sketchbook for forever. Love them. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear a lot of beeping and sirens. I live on a main road in a city. Um, what can you do? But anyway, so this Moleskine has been my go-to forever. Love the paper, handles a lot of product. Um, it's an off-white colour, but uh, you can also get Moleskines in uh, watercolour paper if you need something that's going to be a bit more um, forgiving with watercolours and anything with a lot of water, it absorbs well quickly. Um, nice, decent, and I th that is white paper, but the ones I usually stick with are this ivory or off-white. And I like it. You can get them in loads of sizes and it handles products and never had a problem with it. Another sketchbook that I've been using more and more is this one by Royal Talons and it's the art creation sketchbooks. Again, they come in lots of sizes. The paper is, um, again, off-white and pretty much like the mole skin. The bit thicker than mole skin, but still handles a lot of product really well. So um, I've been using this recently as my sketchbook for my daily challenge so far. So I've been doing, trying to do a sketch a day and I've just been sticking with this. Um, so really enjoy using that. Would recommend that to anyone and quite cheap as well. As sketchbooks go, they can get quite pricey, but this one's cheap as chips and um, is really, really decent. I've also just acquired a Leuchtturm 1917 hardback A5 book. Um, great quality paper. This paper's thicker than the Moleskine or the Art Creation. Um, still smooth, very absorbent though. Um, white, not off-white. Um, pocket in the back. I don't know why they put pockets in the back of notebooks. What you supposed to do? Put your keys in there? I don't know. Anyway, two ribbons quite nice ribbons, not horrible cheap Grogan ones. Uh, yeah, so that's another decent, decent book. Really like that. Leatherette finish. What can you say? Decent. And then another one, which I really love, but I've only got one and I'm not sure if I'll ever get another one, is the Maduri uh, sketchbook or notebook. And the paper is glorious. It is smooth, wonderful for inks. Um, it's just, I, there, I can't say enough good things about this. It's beautiful. Um, it doesn't come hardbacked. And the idea with Midori is that you buy um, all accessories separate and you buy a journal cover. And then when your book runs out, you would simply get another one and put it back in the journal cover. So it's, it's not hardback, but that doesn't bother me. The spine's open, but been covered with this tape. Um, but because it's got no hard spine, it does lay flat, which I really like. Uh, again, off-white ivory colour. Very decent paper. I love this to bits. I um, haven't finished that picture. Oh, that's a bit of a mess. That's a mess. But yeah, love this book. I love it so much. So, those are the sketchbooks I have been using. And I like all of them. And now I'm going to get on to the new one. So the reason I was curious about this is it's USP or unique selling point is that it tries to deliver high quality art supplies sustainably. 
So for every, every product you buy, they will plant a tree. And I think they, they plant them in East Africa with uh, East African farmers. So uh, I'm not sure if it completely offsets the carbon footprint of the, the manufacturer of these books, but um, I'm, I'm liking companies that are doing that. I think I personally have planted the equivalent of an Amazon rainforest somewhere with the amount of products I buy that plant trees. And it does make me feel less guilty, makes me feel a bit more like a, a, um, a reasonable consumer. I'm going to have to buy sketchbooks, so I might as well get the ones that don't kill the planet. And it comes with this little packet of grass seed. I think it's just grass. And the idea is uh, you plant a desk meadow. So they plant a tree, you plant a little meadow in for your desk. I have done this before with my kids, actually. We used to get terracotta planters, you know, the plates that go under actual terracotta pots. Uh, put compost in, sprinkle with grass seed and sprit with, spritz with water. And once you cut them, it has the wonderful smell of mown grass. Uh, just that's an evocative summer smell for me. Cut grass is one of my favourite smells. So you get a little packet of grass to grow your own meadow to freshen up your desk space, which nice touch. Um, handwritten thank you, nice touch. I love the cover of this that it's been packaged in like a glassine paper. I'm going to have to put my camera down. Hold on. On the back comes with a sticker um, and so this is going to be my first reaction on opening the Pith Supply Oro Blanco sketchbook. Okay, so like the Maduri, it doesn't come with a cover. Unlike the Maduri, this is quite a decent sized piece of card. Um, the Maduri comes with a very thin piece of card. That doesn't bother me so much. I'm not somebody who needs to keep my sketchbooks pristine and immaculate, but still I find the Maduri one does the job. This one is substantial card. I can't see that being a problem, keeping my sketches um, unbent. I picked a uh, an aqua colour, they come in various colours. Most of my sketchbooks seem to be quite dull, so I wanted a bright one. On the side, it's mm. been left unbound. I think that's because uh, it just means less harmful substances in the product, like glue, um, which means less waste, less, um, less harmful things for the planet. But I do like the open bound nature of this because I know that means it's going to lay flat. Um, and a nice little, nice little tag, like that. Attractive. Okay, what's the paper like? Yep, lays flat. Brilliant. Brilliant. I'm really happy with that. Usually lay, f lay flat things. I mean, this one does. The Midori's fine. But my other sketchbooks... You know, there's always, you always have to, so there's some pages always stuck together when there's glue involved. You have to flatten it out and faff about with it. Um, but this one is just laying flat, no problem. The paper is really good quality. I think it's 170 GSM. Ivory, off-white. 72 pages. So far I'm very impressed. I like it. I like the feel of it. It feels substantial. Um, it feels good quality. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a full sketch. I will speed it up for you to watch. Then I will review at the end to see what I think about it after I've used it. And then I might declare my favourite sketchbook. I'm going to tell you what I would buy out of all these again.
Okay, and there you have it. Um, for those of you who are curious, I did collage the last detail on, um, but this is from one of my own pieces. Um, I painted this a few years ago and I thought uh, an owl would look nice. I just didn't want to paint anything else because I thought this video was already getting too long, so kind of cheated, but I still think it works. Um, I put way too much water on at the beginning and I put some dye on it and it has soaked through but that is totally my fault. I really over wetted this paper. Um, once it dried out um, it really behaved itself so that was user error. Um, I can say I do like this sketchbook an awful lot. Um, I was going to tell you what my favourite overall sketchbook was but honestly, I think they all have something going for them. Um, they all have pros, they all have cons. Um, but would I buy this again? Yes, absolutely. And I'm going to look on their website to see if they've got smaller notebooks, planners, things like that. Um, but I'm absolutely going to buy this sketchbook again once I get to the end of this. Um, the papers good user error with the with all this warping because i absolutely doused it um i can't wait to uh, make more pictures in it and i think that's the that is the test of any good art supply is when you enjoy using it if you can't wait to sit down in the morning and get back to your art um i think that's a good sign and yes i really enjoyed using this this sketchbook so is it worth it yes would i recommend it yes um would i buy it again yes and the fact that it's promoted as a sustainable product promoted the fact that somewhere in the world is another tree because of this little thing and uh i'm i'm quite happy so yeah go for it if you do actually buy one and use it and you have a review um tag me in with my Green Man Art Insta handle and let me know what you think. Um, but there we are, and I threw absolutely every, every material I had at this. There's acrylics, watercolours, gouache, ink, and a little bit of collage. <laughs>